touch your toe, let me in, pull me close, get love, sweet and low, sugar high, overload, short circuit everything. Yeah, I don't need a drink. So you look nice. Thanks. So you're gonna make me work for this, aren't you? I don't know what you mean. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> I, I didn't quite hear you. Oh, I think you did. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I apologize for the way that I acted the last time we saw each other. Was that so hard? I like wearing synthetic fabrics. Well, apology accepted. Listen, Ave, I want you to know I'm here for you, no matter what. It's gonna take a lot more than you spazzing out on me to get rid of me. <laughs> oh, really? You're so confident that you can handle me? I am. Why? What makes you so confident? Well, I'm here, Anna. Sitting here with you weeks later. I think that proves that you like me. And I'm strong enough to handle you. I don't even know how to respond to that. See, I make you speechless too. Damn, I'm good. And now I'm making you laugh. So let me ask you, why is it so hard for you to admit that you like me? I don't think I have to. My presence at this date is more than enough. Yeah, I guess it is. But it's also nice to hear. Well, it's also nice to eat at five-star restaurants, but as we can see, this isn't the case. Wow. Really? What? I'm just being honest. Your favorite quality, remember? <laughs> Clever. Who was that? One of your side chicks? No. Just a business call. A business call? So if it's business, why not answer it? Because I'm with you. And at this moment, you're more important. <laughs> okay. Cue the romantic music, you little cornball. I'm serious. Work can wait. So what exactly is work? I mean, management is a pretty vague job title. What is it that you do? You could... Clearly, it's important if they've called me back to back. Hang on. Let me take this. He assured me that he wasn't hiding anything. But after that phone call, something just doesn't sit right with me. I know he's hiding something, I just don't know what it is. You think he's the one out to get Savannah? I don't know, and that's what scares me. What are the unfortunate odds that someone I actually care about may be out to sabotage my best friend's life? Mm. The way he approached you in that grocery store, it was a little random. Maybe too random. God, I swear I'd be relieved if he was just cheating on me or something. Hey, careful what you ask for. Shit, it could be both. Bite your tongue. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, look, I gotta go. I have to get ready for work in an hour. Are you still serving at that bar and grill? Yes, I'm still there. That's how some of us make our money. Shocking. I know. Bye, Devin.
The best? Oh my god! It's been so long. How have you been? Amazing. I can't complain. Oh, how <laughs> modest. You must be the envy of all of your friends here in Atlanta. Well, there's no argument there. <laughs> how is New York? Oh, it's perfect. Business is booming as usual, and your mother, she's such a delight. And Stefan is still as bitchy as always. Oh, Stefan is here? Yeah, he's designing a couple of the gowns for the hair show. That's why we're in town. I'm competing this year. I am sure you're gonna do wonderful. Mm. How long are you staying? Just until after the hair show. Oh, that's perfect. In a couple of weeks, Savannah will be here celebrating her birthday, and we're throwing her a party, so you should come. Oh, Savannah, how is she? She's doing amazing. She's in LA working for Queen Magazine. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. wonderful. I, I can't think of anyone that's any more deserving. I would be honored to attend Savannah's soiree. Perfect, I'll send over the information, but as of now, I have a sell to catch at Neiman Marcus. Oh, well, I'll come with. I haven't been shopping in the past 24 hours. Oh no, that will never do. Oh. Did you miss me? What are you doing here? Well, you remember that one night you left me hanging like a $2 prostitute? I didn't know that. Oh, really? I believe your exact words were, I'm gonna go fuck some other bitch. Thanks for the ass. Shit was amazing. Am I wrong? But how was that treating you like a prostitute? Because I really liked you, Aaron. We really could have had something. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of my house, you knew what we was getting into before you came over there. So don't come over here not acting all hurt and emotional. Not going anywhere. Excuse me? See, after that night, I decided to keep tabs on you. Keeping tabs? What, you stalking me now? Call it what you want, but please stop interrupting me. Man, hurry the fuck up. I got shit to do. Long story short, I know you're a prostitute now. Escort. Either way you spin it, you're still fucking for money, my friend. And what does that have to do with you? Meet your new client. You're joking, right? Nope. Quite serious. So let me get this straight. You're paying... You're paying to fuck someone that you've already fucked for free? Well, my simple-minded caramel drop. There's much more to it than that. You're my new boyfriend. Excuse me? Yep. See, I paid to have you as my boyfriend for a whole month. Hopefully, when that month is over, you can then realize that we're meant to be together. For real. And with the money that you make off this job, which is quite a lot, if I must say so, you can leave this life, Ben, Starting your life with me. Bro, you watch your fucking mind. Hmm. Maybe. That's actually a strong possibility. But that's something we can talk about over a hot meal. Come on, get dressed. We're going to dinner, boyfriend. This is Parker. She works with me up at the restaurant. 
What's up? Yeah, thanks for passing up on that serving job, by the way. That was my way in. You good? So you know what? I'm just gonna go see if they have any more of those gluten-free donuts over at the coffee shop. Just call me when you guys are done staring aimlessly into each other's eyes. So, here we are, again. Yeah, so um, how you been? Surviving. Cool, cool. Um, so, anything new? Yeah, kinda. It's a long story, but someone close to Savannah is trying to sabotage her, so Neve, Justin, and I are trying to figure out who it could be. How come nobody told me about this? Well, it's not like we've been able to get in contact with you, you know, with you being so distant and all. Yeah, um, I'm sorry about that. Come again? Bro, come on, don't do that shit. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just... I just want to make sure that I heard you properly. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, it, it's real fucked up how I treated you, and I just want you to know that things are going to change. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Aaron. That, that really means a lot to me. You're welcome. So, just out of curiosity, does that mean that maybe you and I could possibly try to date each other? Well... Sweetie, I just seen the cutest jockstrap. I love it. Who's this? Um, Andreas. This is Devin. Devin, this is Andreas. Who is Andreas? He... His boyfriend. Boyfriend? Devin, look, it's not even It's like... not the time to be discussing this. We have lots to do and wouldn't want to break any binding agreements now, would we? No, we don't. No, certainly not. So, Devin, <laughs> it was so nice meeting you, but I think it's time for you to skedaddle. Your tragically dry skin can really use some hydration, so you better get on to it. Aaron, please tell me this is a joke. Nah, it's not a joke. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fuck you, Aaron. Well, that was melodramatic. Come on, I see this really cute tie on sale, and I'll wear it while you fucking choke me. Okay, what about this one? There's a girl who wants to get her new boyfriend something for his birthday, but they've only been dating for a month. What should she get him? She should get herself a cat and come to terms with the fact that the relationship will never last and she's gonna be alone forever. Okay, pretty solid advice, but I'd probably go for a more positive and less bitter approach. What's going on, Devin? Nothing. Let's just finish this so I can go lie down with my bottle of vodka. All right. Enough self-pity. This is about Aaron, isn't it? What makes you say that? Because every time his name is mentioned, your entire demeanor changes. Come on, talk to me. It's a long story. Well, give me the made-for-TV version. Aaron and I, we have history together. We kiss and we had sex. But he's still afraid to commit to me. And today, he apologizes for all of his actions. Only for me to find out he has a boyfriend. I'm so sorry to hear that, Devin. I know that must be tough. It's... It's whatever. I just have to realize that we're never gonna be together. He's got his exotic little pop tart on his arm and... There's just no room for me. 
It's time for me to move on. Hello? Hey, what's going on, Mom? Oh, just wrapping up some last minute design details. What's wrong? Wrong? Yes, dear. I know that if you're calling me in the middle of a work day, something must be wrong. So talk to me. Nothing, I, I, I just miss you. Oh, Aaron, that's so sweet. But honey, I'm your mother. I know you better than you know yourself. Talk to me. <sighs> okay. I really need my hair back back. I, I, I can't keep living like this. Aaron, we have discussed this multiple times. I know my but- What did we discuss? Come on. What did we discuss? That I wouldn't get my inheritance back until I earned it. Exactly, and right now you're not making me feel as though you've earned anything. I mean, calling me while I'm working to-, to Bother me about your money problems? <laughs> Aaron, when are you gonna grow up and stop acting like a child? Will you let me grow up and stop treating me like one? Well, you wanted adulthood so much, this is what it feels like. Struggle, uncertainty, and, and sacrifice. That's what being an adult is about. Mom, you have no idea what I had to go through just to keep myself stable. Oh, I'm sure I can imagine. Or need I remind you of the countless jobs and sleepless nights that I endured just to get to where I am today? No, you don't, but- You will regain access to your inheritance whenever I feel you deserve it and not a moment before. Do you understand? Don't make me ask you twice. Understand. Good. Aaron, you're gonna be fine, honey. Okay, this is just gonna help you grow and it's gonna make you appreciate your money once you've earned it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now kiss your sister for me. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Aw, was that my mother-in-law? She's not your mother-in-law because we're not getting married. Well, not yet. You haven't proposed yet, silly. So, I got you some fruit because you should really start eating healthier. Someone's gained a little weight since last time I saw him. Please don't make me kill you. Oh, please. You didn't have it in you. Also, I got you some fruit snacks because I know those are your favorite. How? How did you know this? How did you even get a kid in my apartment? Okay, Q and A time, I see. Well, as far as the key goes, I took that while you were sleeping and had a copy made. But in regards to everything else, one day, I was at a coffee shop, trying my little pretty brown eyes out, when all of a sudden, this woman came up to me to see if I was okay. I told her how you treated me and explained to her how I needed to get you back in my life. Well, it turns out, She's a hacker. Nifty, right? She helped me hack into your social media account, your bank account, text message, call logs, you name it. Everything to know about you and the palm of my hands. You really are insane. Well, Alex didn't think so. She actually understood me quite well. Alex? Yeah, Alex Ferguson. Such a pretty name for a pretty girl. So what are we having tonight? Are we, are we feeling lasagna? Are you feeling shrimps as far? You know, I'm thinking more of something fancy, probably like some food out of the some candles, some dessert.
Trinity. Trinity.